brillantine on my negligee. Well, as they used to say, on the 101 Ranch in Ponca City, Oklahoma, never to be seen on a galloping horse. It's Betty the Flapper here today, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about Blue Waltz Brilliantine that I happen to have found in a field of all places. Now, brilliantine is something you would use that both men and women could use in the 20s to make their hair all the more brilliant. was launched in the year 1927 by Joubert and it's kind of like America's answer to Shalimar. It's got that vanilla benzoin accord. It's not my personal favorite. Now I'm more of a rose gal but if you love vanilla powdery benzoin and carnation types of scents this might just be one that you'd like. And it was Blue Waltz that was the signature scent of one Bonnie Parker of the Barrow Gangs, Bonnie and Clyde. Yep, she was a fan of this. And a bottle of Blue Waltz was actually found in the car that was gunned down by the G-men of the FBI. There is a version of perfume still being sold by the Vermont Country Store, so you can capture the essence of this scent of history with a notorious past all for yourself. And I'll see you folks later. It was Betty the Flapper.